Healthy arteries are like pipes in a new house. Their inside walls are smooth and clean, making it possible to easily move the blood your body needs. But your arteries, like pipes, can become clogged. Atherosclerosis is the disease that clogs your arteries over time. It is sometimes called hardening of the arteries, and it happens slowly over many years, starting as early as childhood. But in most people, it usually doesn't start causing problems until you reach age 50. Atherosclerosis happens when damage occurs to the inner lining of an artery. This damage could result from high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, diabetes, and other conditions. Substances traveling in the blood clump together at the injured area. Inflammation of the artery then occurs, and excess fat and cholesterol bond with calcium and other waste products in your blood to form plaque. Plaque deposited in the walls of your arteries builds up over time. This makes your arteries narrow and hard. The narrow arteries then slow blood flow to your most vital organs, like your heart and brain, as well as to your arms and legs. Sometimes, a piece of plaque will break off and enter your bloodstream. In other cases, a blood clot may form on the surface of the plaque. Both of these conditions can completely block an artery, stopping the flow of oxygen-rich blood to the surrounding tissue. If you get atherosclerosis in the arteries that supply your heart muscle, it can cause coronary artery disease. This can lead to chest pain called angina, a heart attack, or even sudden death. If you get atherosclerosis in the arteries that supply your brain, the lack of oxygen can cause a transient ischemic attack, or TIA, or a full-blown stroke. Atherosclerosis in the arteries that supply your kidneys, abdomen, arms and legs can also cause serious problems. Causes Healthcare providers don't exactly know how atherosclerosis begins or what causes it. Some think that certain risk factors may make you more likely to get atherosclerosis. These include high levels of LDL cholesterol and triglycerides in your blood, low levels of HDL cholesterol, high blood pressure, smoking, a family history of atherosclerosis, diabetes, being overweight or obese, not getting enough exercise, and eating foods high in saturated fat. Symptoms. Some people with atherosclerosis don't have any symptoms at all. It can take many years to build up enough plaque in the arteries to cause symptoms. You might not even know you have atherosclerosis until you have a heart attack stroke, aneurysm, or blood clot. Diagnosis. To find out if you have atherosclerosis, your provider will ask about your medical history and give you an exam. He or she may also recommend certain tests. Those tests may include blood tests, electrocardiogram, or ECG or EKG, ultrasound, angiogram, or other imaging tests like a CT or MRI scan. Treatment. If your tests show that you have atherosclerosis, your provider will likely recommend certain lifestyle changes. Lifestyle changes are enough to keep your atherosclerosis from getting worse. Some changes your provider may recommend are quitting smoking, losing weight, eating a healthy diet low in saturated fat and cholesterol, exercising to reduce cholesterol and blood pressure and help you manage your weight, and managing your blood sugar if you have diabetes. If these changes aren't enough, you may also need to take medicine. Some medicines help lower your cholesterol. Others will help lower your blood pressure or help prevent blood clots. You may need a procedure or surgery if your condition is more severe.